let's see. Um, what was the other one? Um. Uh, okay. Um. When I get stumped by a student's question, I love to say, hey, talk to your neighbors for a second and try and figure out the answer together. Pair work. And then I Google up the answer myself. <laughs> Quite simply, a lot of students have a question that comes somewhere out of left field and teachers will just say, I'll get back to you, I'll get back to you. You gotta do more than get back to you. I give my students a specific time, usually the next day in class. This way I can get an answer and I can think about it and it's a great answer for that student. Um, when a student asks me a question that I don't know, I actually admit that I don't know. And um, the funny thing I do when they say, um, I have a question, I usually answer no, I'm sorry, I'm already married. <laughs> and that's... <laughs> Same when and they forget their question after that. When a student asks me a question I don't know, I just say, look, I only studied English, I didn't make the rules. When I don't know the answer to a question or something about a grammar point or whatever, I don't pretend that I do. I don't want them to think that uh, they have to know the answers, and I want them to know that even native speakers and even teachers know, don't know all the answers to everything. So I tell them um, how I would find the answers, and we sometimes even go find the answers together. So what do you do when you space out? Mm, that's a great question. What do you think, Uluwa? <laughs> Deflection. If I blank out, I just ask the students to answer it for me. Vocabulary is sometimes if you don't know it, it might be because it's not that important of a word. For example, one of the vocab words was frumpy, and I told students, as a native speaker, it's been 30 years and I have never heard this word used by anyone. But it's like an old word and nobody uses it anymore and it's like something your grandmother would say or whatever. But they do say it. Nobody I, says it. I hear frumpy all the time. Maybe it's just my, my people are old. Okay. Um. The way I fake it till I make it is to challenge them with confidence. To say, where did you learn this from? From TV? Commercial? From a book? Teachers don't know everything. So what do I say to do? It's all smoke and mirrors. You just have to look like you know what you're doing. So if a student asks you a question you don't know the answer, Make it homework. When a student is asking me a question I don't want to answer or I've answered before, I usually look at someone else and I go, hey you, help him. <laughs> what do you do when you don't know how to answer a grammar question? I ask Eris. I call Eris. Then I go to Eris, he's our, our in-house grammar expert. Eris, he has all the answers, ask Eris. If I didn't know an answer to a grammar question, there's only one place I would go, Eris. Yeah. yeah, thank goodness it's Eris. Otherwise, I'd have no idea that delivery is a verb. Delivery is a verb? Isn't it? Isn't it? I thought delivery was a verb. Isn't it something? It could be a preposition. What did he say? Did he say verb or preposition? God, I can't remember what he said. Verb, yeah. That's um, a noun. Wouldn't that be a noun? Yeah, I guess that could be a noun too. Wait, no, it's an adjective. God, you know, I'm confused now. We gotta go ask Eris again. Yeah, I think we should ask. Oh,